Okay, guys, we are in the village of Tongaru. Well, it's, the, it's, a, it's a settlement, not a village, eh? It's a settlement. It's a settlement. Okay, and I'm here with Dan. No, uh, John. John, sorry, John. sorry, John, sorry. <laughs> this is John. Yeah. Okay, and John, you remember what family? Brown. We the Brown, Brown family. Yeah. Okay, now we're, we're in this area of, like I said, this is a settlement. We're, this is Tongaru, and I'm here with, with John and, and David. A very old uh, friend of mine from uh, many years ago uh, and uh, so this is an area of Navua uh, and, and I wanted to show you something very very unusual uh, and it's got to do with a couple of graves in the ocean just over there yeah, that's over. okay so um, just over there there are a couple of graves. Got to be careful because the uh, just got, I've got my shoes on. But can you see them just over there? They're, those are graves. Now you could you could you could probably walk up to them um, during low tide. It's possible, isn't it, John, to walk up to them during yeah, low tide? Really, eh? Yeah. Uh, so yeah. you can walk up to them during low tide, but. Um, uh, over there is, um, what's the island again? Benga. Benga. That's Benga Island over there. Uh, and uh, whereabouts is Kandavu? Kandavu is uh, out here, but oh, you can't see you it. You can't see it, you can't see yeah, it. It's hazy. it's hazy today. Yeah. So you can't, you can't see the island of Kandavu, but Kandavu is out there. That's Benga Island. Uh, and there are a couple of other islands around here, right? Eh? Uh, yeah, Yanuda. Yanuda, okay. Oh, that's right, yeah. That's Yanuda Island just over there. Down there you can see Yamuda. You can see yeah, it? Yeah, uh, you can see there. Yeah, yeah. Down, uh, further down you can uh, see. Okay, so, okay. When, I mean, this, this, all this land has basically just washed away, hasn't it? Yeah. The, 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 um, the, the, that, the, those graves were yeah. on land before, on weren't land. they? And then it got, it just eroded. It, this whole place just, um, the land just got eroded, didn't it? It yeah. was just eroded, eh? Just, uh, eroded. Okay, okay. And this has been on the news, it's been on YouTube, it's been on uh, even the uh, ABC, the Australians came out, didn't they? Eh? Yeah. Yeah. We can to see one of our family that done. Yeah. We can explain why. Okay, okay. But, uh, no, no one is there. No one's there, okay, okay. So, so Yeah. So, the, the families that, that live around here, the families that live around here have um, historically descended from uh, Europeans and beachcombers and uh, sailors and drifters that came out to Fiji in the 19th century. And so you've got uh, the Danfers, the Duns, the, um, who else have we got here? The Ma 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 Magowans? Magoons. And uh, the owners of the land is the Dunn. The Dunn, eh? yeah, okay. Dunn. And they're, they're related to you, aren't they? Yeah, yeah they're okay. my family. Okay, okay. The wife is there. The wife is right before the dog. Okay. Oh, yeah. wow. So they're all these descendants of Europeans, eh? Yeah. Who Irish. intermarried. Yeah. And the Danford uh, family were advisors to the, Nam the chief of Namosi. Right. Okay. So this is, this is interesting. This, is, this goes back to the early days of just before colonial, the advent of colonialism when um, the, um, uh, all these uh, Europeans were coming here, were fetching up on the shores of Fiji, uh, and um, they were advising chiefs who were in this um, struggle with um, uh, in, the, in, the, in these um, internecine wars with other Fijians. And so these Europeans would come here and they'd advise these chiefs and they'd give them guns, muskets, and, and even liquor, and uh, you know, whiskey and what have you. Uh, and uh, so the, these, these people who live around here are those descendants. And uh, that's just incredible, isn't it, though? But those graves are amazing, aren't they, eh? Yeah. Incredible. Let's see if we can get a closer look. And now, with climate change, I, I just find this staggering. Got to watch, make sure I don't get, uh, get, don't get my feet wet. Okay. Okay, so uh, look at that over there. 
That is incredible. So all that, now you look at it, that's, this is the, um, it isn't quite high tide yet. It won't be high tide till about um, 2.30. So the, the water will presumably come all the way up here, as far as here. And, um, but uh, yeah, years ago, many, many years ago, that, that would have all have been a beach. That would have been just uh, a normal beach and those, uh, those graves would have been, let's get a closer look, those graves, that, oh, that one, those graves would have been on, on land and now they are in the ocean because of climate change. This is staggering, absolutely amazing. So, sorry, <laughs> so, okay, John, the shoreline would have been way out over there somewhere. Well, yeah. Years ago, eh? Years ago. The, the shoreline would have been out, out there, eh? Yeah. So, um, John is going to take us on a little tour of the settlement. So there's just so much history here. I mean, apart from the, uh, the fact that there are those graves out there, uh, apart from that, there's, there is just so much uh, in relation to this settlement and other settlements in the area, which uh, are all part of um, that uh, pre-colonial history. And it, it was, you know, it was an incredible time, you know. Um, Pre-colonial and colonial, but mainly pre-colonial, when all these, um, you know, uh, um, beachcombers and drifters and sailors were coming from um, from Australia, New Zealand, from America, and even the United Kingdom, and uh, they saw a, a chance to make a fortune here in Fiji, uh, and of course a lot of them ended up, because they had these muskets and you know, barrels of whiskey and. Um, knives, which were very useful to to the, those uh, those ancient, those old, those uh, those uh, Fijians who were fighting other Fijians, and of course the Danfords were very famous, uh, very famous name, who were uh, Danford family were well at least the original Mr. Danford was an advisor to the in, the chief of Namosi in here, and uh, this is this is this is these are all members of that family, yeah. yeah. So who, who so what families do you know what families there are here, John? This, this this one, all the, the Duns, eh? my family. These are all the Duns, okay, yeah. okay. Duns, Danfords, These are McGowans. The land, eh? Yeah, yeah. Wow. The, Dan the Duns, yeah, the Danford is right uh, far away, let's say. Okay, okay, Rewanga. okay. Oh, in Rewanga, in yeah. Suba? No, Rewanga, yeah. Oh, there's a Rewanga here? Rewanga. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. This is. This is incredible, isn't it? Eh? I'll show you the, this, uh, the... We move the graveyard site to oh. this end. Okay, should we go and have a look at that then? Yeah. Okay, let's go and have a look at that. Okay. So, these were graves that were in the ocean, but they've been re relocated or...? No. No, no? Uh, as soon as we are... My, my family, they saw that uh, it was eroding very fast. Yeah, yeah. We shifted the... The to the oh, city. I see. Okay, okay. So you, the the original tombstones have been moved, eh? The, no, it, it's still there. Okay, but okay. The, the, those the bodies. Are, yeah, the, died later. Yeah. We, we oh, okay. 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 The, okay. It's it's so peaceful, so quiet here, and it's so uh, uh, so restful. It's a beautiful area. Uh, we, we had to drive in for about uh, 20 minutes from the main, from the main road. Nobody home? How are you doing, David? David? Yeah. You okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's 
been raining a lot, so the, uh, the ground is a bit mushy. Okay, okay. So these have been here a while, eh? A long time, eh? Uh, no? Yeah, about uh, from 19... Uh, 19... 70-something. Uh, like 70s, eh? Yeah. All the oh, okay, hours. okay. So, okay, I see. I can, the cinder blocks, eh? Yeah. I can just, okay, I can tell there. Okay, they, so this is from about 1970s, eh? Yeah. This one, I think it's uh, really old. This oh, this looks much older, doesn't yeah, it, eh? This one. Uh, okay, yeah. This one, right in the uh, 1900s. Okay, so who's great? Early 1900s. Okay, this is the early 1900s. Yeah. So who's, oh, there's another one here, eh? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, it's very similar to the, isn't it, eh? So it's like the one in the ocean and the sea, which has this ob obelisk uh, as a as a tomb. My great great grandfather Joseph Boydan. This is uh, oh, uh, Joseph Boydan. Boydan. Okay. What's uh, It's um. Let's see. Sixteen. Sixty-two. You died in 1962. Okay. Yeah. When was he born? He uh, was born uh, that year, 1986. He died in uh, 86, 1986. 80, uh, the, oh, he died in 86 or he died at, at the age of 86? 86. No, he, he, died, uh, he was uh, 62, born 62. Yeah, born 62, so it, that's about... Uh, he was born on the 16th, January, February, March, April, 62. Oh, 1962. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, 1962. And he okay. died on the 15th, on the 8th month, 1986. Okay. So, he's, he, I mean, this is quite, quite a recent one, isn't it? Eh? Mm. But the obelisk uh, headstone is very similar to the ones, isn't it? That they have, yeah. isn't it? They did it with the same yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, preserve the history to make it... Uh, that one, see, it's a smaller one. It's a smaller one, isn't it, eh? Yeah. So they, you know, like you say, we carry on from one family. From one, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You want to take a photo? Okay. So these are... These are the probably older ones. Yeah. Yeah, they, they do look older. And they're not cinder blocks, so they, they must be older. Yeah. So they've just created a, you know, like a mould and filled it with cement. Yeah. Whereas now they would use cinder blocks yeah. to make it easier. Okay, wow. So this is where... It, uh, so this is probably grandpa. Yeah. All the, yeah, from the early generations. Yeah. So this, the, they knew what was happening out there with the other graves, eh? Mm -hmm. And then they decided to build yeah, I mean, uh, another graveyard here, Inland, eh? Inland, exactly. Wow. There's another one here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's incredible, isn't it, eh? A lot of history. Yeah. One, one of them was here, they would have explained nicely. Yeah, 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 no, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. This is, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This has been uh, covered recently, hasn't it? And so has this one. In fact, a few of them haven't they? They've been covered recently. Usually, Christmas time, they do great cleaning. Oh, okay, Christmas time. Is that what it is? Okay. Okay. John, I'll let you lead, lead okay. the way. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it does, yeah. Mm. And the fact that they were, they were, um, they were, they'd started to, um, the fact that they started to um, relocate from the original grave site, which is in the ocean, inland, yeah. in the 1970s. So it was probably happening then. Back in the 1970s, they knew what was going on back then. Yeah. So they, took they did, they took precautions. So look at this uh, house. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Look at the Georgian windows, eh? Yeah. There's nobody at home. 
It was, wasn't it, eh? Okay. Wow. Just shows you the um, the perils and the uh, the risks associated with uh, climate change. I can just say I can say one thing for certain: it's idyllic here. It's so so beautiful here, isn't it? So quiet. So Wait. It's so peaceful. Two. A lot of mosquitoes by those graveyards, <laughs> by those graves. Two. In the afternoon? Yeah. When there's no wind, oh, that's a worse one. Oh, yeah, place, yeah, yeah. yeah. Place. Oh, man, yeah. Split. I can hear a pig yeah. honking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it looks quite recent, though. This one of my auntie. Oh, this is your auntie, yeah? Maybe she done. Okay. When she. Was that David? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I just saw him just now, yeah. Okay, so that's... Okay. Oop. <laughs> You remember the Dunn family? Which one are you? Which? Eldest. The eldest. Uh, okay, so. Okay. Okay. That's David. David Appleton. Naka. Sorry, I just took my shoes off. Oh no! You just tell me the history. Yeah. Well, in the 1800s, uh, this guy came, James Gunn. He came all the way from Ireland. And um, he came and settled down here. And uh, got married to a lady. You see, when you come from Cuba, you see the hospital? Yeah. Uh, the village, the Lemeli Medi. Okay. He got married here and uh, had three sons and about uh, seven or eight girls. So the eldest son was George Dunn, and then he had another son, Bunny Dunn, but he didn't get married, he had no children. Okay. And um, the last one was Jim Dunn. Okay. And this Jim Dunn is great-grandfather of Tom Dunn, the one you're talking about. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, which Tom Dunn are you talking about, the one in Ba? No, no, I, I just heard of a Dunn oh. somewhere, yeah. So... When we when we calculate the age, uh, take seventy. Yeah. Uh, for a person to live, eh? but some of them live more than seventy. Yeah. But if you times seventy, uh, five times seventy is three hundred and fifty. Yeah. Or if you put it uh, seven times five, it's thirty-five. Mm. So I'm the fifth generation. Oh. I'm 56 now. Okay. So it comes roughly to 300 and something years. This place has been okay. occupied. Yeah, yeah. And um, that George Dunn's son was Joe Dunn, who is my grandfather. Yeah. Elder son. Yeah. And Joe Dunn's son was my father, Abram Dunn. Okay. And then I'm the elder son of Abram Dunn. Okay. So there's five generations. Yeah. And, um, have you traced your roots back to Ireland at all? No. We went halfway, but uh, we ended up because uh, even those guys there, they don't keep record. Oh, okay. okay. My daughter went to England to serve the mission. Oh, okay. She met one of them 
almost the age, but we don't have any record. Okay. But uh, some of us is in Samoa. Samoa? Okay. It's in Samoa. It's a Dan name. Okay. The name is Pekka. Pekka Dan. We name someone mm. named. So that's the story okay. about this. For you see the graveyard in the sea, that's uh, due to climate change. Eh? Yeah, exactly. And uh, when I was in class four, I used to go around the grave. Yeah. But uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, yes, I was 11 years old. Yeah. So according to the age and according to the erosion, uh, in uh, 2000, 2003, one lady from Germany came, we did the experiment. Yeah. She comes uh, every three months and checks the pig, so it's about one meter eroding every year. Every year, one meter every but year? when we have uh, like head can or something, then it's more, 1.5. Really? And so you remember, as a boy, Walking around the grave, it was just it was just it was just normal land, wasn't it? Eh? Yeah. Would it have been grass, soil, so soil, soil, grass. Soil, grass. It wasn't. It was so that so there was the grass, there was the soil, mm -hmm. and then there was the beach, yeah. and then there was the ocean, yeah. and now all that's gone. Oh, gone. My goodness, it's incredible, isn't it? Eh? But it won't stop. It won't stop now. It'll come right here. Yeah, really? Yeah, from here, you can't move anywhere back because there's a water and wind growing in the back. So we have no other we saw when we were coming in, uh, yeah. mangrove. Yeah, yeah, the mangrove. Yeah. yeah. So here, right at uh, just a few... Is the mangrove. Yeah. About uh, 20 meters like that. Yeah. 20 meters. Wow. Yeah. That's, a, that's, a, that's desperately sad, isn't it? So... We had 10 acres. Yeah. Mm. I mean, this time, uh, old people keep selling the land. Yeah. And the Irish people like potato and whiskey, yeah. bacon and whatever they use. <laughs> yeah. So they just take those things and yeah. give them a pay, pay the food stuff by the end. Yeah. So James Morris Scott was his man's name. Yeah. Uh, he was a lawyer. Yeah, yeah, Morris, he, yeah, Scott, yeah. Yeah, he's been taking land. So when this George Dunn got blind, yeah. he was alone. Because Jim Dunn went out sailing. Yeah. Uh, his brother Buddy passed away. Yeah. So all he did was just put the suffering. And that's it. So he cannot see. He says, uh, the, the James Morris Scott says, this is one acre, Mr. Dunn. Yeah. But it's two or three acres. So it was taken like that. Yeah. So he takes uh, like two or three cases whiskey and yeah. then potato. And that's all he got. This, and, yeah. Give yeah. the land, give the land. Until we go and have only 10 acres. Right. But right now. And how much would it have been originally? How many, how many acres originally? Originally, the whole of Navua town. Oh, 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 all of Navua? Yeah, I told you, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of Big Lake. Mm. And so f the family owned all of Navua town? Yeah, it was like this, because they had a tribal war. Yeah. So Mr. Dunn and Mr. Denford yeah. had that gun when you put the powder in. Yeah, the musket. Yeah. Musket. Yeah, yeah. So they used that gun, and yeah. that's how they wasn't defeated. Uh -huh. Or Bao defeated all the province. Yeah. Same with Tonga, Mafu. Yeah. But Namusi wasn't defeated. Yeah, exactly. I was yeah. saying that we were. Well, mm -hmm. I was narrating that earlier that uh, Danford was uh, an advisor to the chief of Namusi. Yeah. Okay. So from that way, then he gave the land. Yeah. He said, as far as you, I can see, that's yours. That's yours. He asked Mr. Danford. Danford said, No, I don't want the seaside. I don't want the land. Because ah. I think they came from there. They were farmers. Yeah, in Ireland. Yeah. yeah. So Danford took Rwanda and Dan took the home. Okay. So from just selling that land for whiskey and potato. We, at last we had only 10 acres. 10 right? acres is all that's left. And these 10 acres that's left, it's a burial ground. If you go to the lands or the archives, you find out. Yeah. Uh, there's a, a map there that shows that this, where we're living now, this is burial ground. Historically, you mean for uh, the ancient Vidians or, or it was supposed to be used as a burial ground? He wrote it down in his uh, will. That oh, okay. I see. Okay, this would be used yeah. as a burial ground, eh? so that the buried yeah. here near the sea, eh? Yeah. So these ten acres, uh, when we, I think as generations went by, yeah. then they knew that we don't own that. It's already so. Yeah. So this one that's left, that we stay here, they start building their house. Yeah. People start, you know, the generations start growing. Yeah. But most of us have moved out. Yeah. And. 
like to stay here, we are still here. Yeah, yeah. Because I used to joke to people who come that uh, I'm a fisherman, I'm not a farmer. Okay. If you relocate me to in the interior, I, I will have to start all over again how to learn how to plant. Farm, yeah. yeah. Everybody can farm, but yeah. uh, you will have to farm like uh, big so that you can put food on the table for yeah. the family and get yeah. money. Yeah, yeah. It's not you just farm and eat because if you plant today, you won't eat it tomorrow. No, exactly, yeah. But in the sea, you you hungry, you want the fish, you go out now, you get it. You get, you get the fish, yeah. So, uh. we the ones who are used to staying here, yeah. we stay there. For those who went out to Mba, Lotoka, overseas, they moved out and... They you know all the fishing point. sports, all that place to do the... Yeah, yeah. To do their netting and yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are all my... Oh my god. Fascinating them. story, yeah. That's how we are here. Yeah, exactly. Ten acres from all those... Uh, we have only what, uh, one, two, three, three, three. Ten acres, huh? From all that land you used to own. And s six acres has already been lost to the ocean, to the sea, to uh, climate change and, and uh, erosion. Eh? It's incredible, isn't it? Eh? It is. What an incredible story. Thank you very much, Minaka. I really appreciate this. We, hopefully we can get some... That's a real story. That's a real story, you know? That's a real story. That's amazing. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. It's very...